we're back. And the next application is 20-17, Cervone, 28 Priscilla Street, T-Ticket. Being all persons deemed affected by the Board of Appeals under Section 11 of Chapter 40A of the Massachusetts General Laws, you are hereby notified that John D. Cervone, uh, IV, in Bloomfield, Massachusetts, applied to Zoning Board of Appeals for a special permit. Pursuant to 240-3C and 240-69E of the Code of Falmouth to construct a deck, dormers, and in addition, creating habitable space to the pre-existing non-conforming single-family dwelling, exceeding 20% lot coverage by structures on subject property known as 28 Priscilla Street, T-Ticket, Massachusetts. And for referrals from the assessors, it includes lots 53, 54, and 55. From conservation, provided stormwater is contained on the property and does not contribute to runoff into Little Pond. From engineering is the standard comment. And they recommend adding dry wells, rain garden, or other stormwater measure for the new roof. And it also appears that the new shell driveway will be constructed against the existing asphalt apron. If this is the case, no permit would be required. If the apron will be replaced, a permit may be required. Please clarify. From the fire department, no comment. From planning, no comment. And there are also five letters in the file with no objections. Great, thank you. Good evening. Good evening, members of the board. Uh, I'm John uh, B. Savone. My son, John B. Savone IV, is uh, the actual uh, owner petitioner. This will be very, very similar to the very first hearing you had. Um, same RC zoning district, um, basically the same situation. It's a uh, 916 square foot lot coverage right now on a 7,200 square foot lot. It's a very small four bedroom house. Um, you know, my two kids and I would like to make it something that's more livable. Um, so we want to uh, basically take half of the attic which apparently the assessors are actually already considering finished because it's part of the square footage that they consider that I'm assessed for. They, they assess me for 1,261 square feet instead of the 916 that's actually finished. Um, the, the next um, significant fact is other than the, the fact of the deck, the proposed addition with the existing small house is just slightly over 20% lot coverage. It's the deck that sort of puts it just under 25%. Um, again, and, oh, and by the way, I, I know you mentioned that there are neighbors' letters. I have the originals, if the board would want the originals. I should have sent them out um, sooner than last week. Um, all the neighbors that I spoke to on, in the immediate neighborhood on Priscilla Street on the uh, west side of uh, Mara Vista have all been in favor of it when I've spoken to them. They're all signed. Uh, and just quickly, I sent a, a memorandum earlier that has some of these details. I'll go over a, a couple of them. Uh, 26 out of the 43 uh, structures on Priscilla have 20% lot coverage or more. Um, it's much higher. I think it's, if it, you go down to 17%, we're currently at 12.72. 37 out of 43 or 86% are already at 17% or greater. 12 um, of the properties, uh, or 28% of the total, are at 25% or greater already. On the three streets, both in front and behind, Oak Street, Chestnut Street, uh, and Priscilla, there are uh, 35 properties at 25% or greater. Um, as I indicated in the memorandum, there will be no, uh, any driveways, walkways, everything will be pervious materials. Uh, when I, the, the lot coverages as listed did not include uh, paved driveways or walkways. I thought it was a little too difficult to uh, factor that in without taking exact measurements. Um, it seems as if um, the, the neighborhood character is basically what we're, we're basically trying to keep in, in conjunction with the character of the neighborhood. Um, as indicated by many of the neighbors' letters, they're very much in favor of it because the property 
has been a little, it needs, it definitely needs TLC uh, and regular maintenance, uh, which is not occurred. The um, existing property uh, is basically, there's a fence that's falling down, things like that happen. All we're going to do, even in the backyard, is, is stick with uh, pervious materials. Just, uh, we'll, we'll put up some um, trees like Arborvitae is screening along the back, and um, it, it's probably going to be a far greater improvement than, than it is currently there. Uh, many of the properties, as you can see, if you go up and down the streets, already have the same type of um, attic space uh, that is finished, including those which are dormered. Uh, we're not, uh, the heights of the ridge on the proposed first floor addition are all going to be lower than the existing ridge height. So it will have no uh, shade impact. It will have no um, real impact on um, embayments because, uh, coastal embayment, because I think we're quite a ways from Little Pond. And I, I guess if there are no, um, I could go through some of the, the other technical statistics about the other properties on those three streets, but um, I think it'd probably be better if, if I just maybe address any questions from the board. Okay. Sounds great. Jerry, any questions? I'm assuming you're connecting to the sewer. Yes. In fact, I spoke to the city engineer, James Laughlin, and um, he told me that, because I had different information from different people, he told me that as far as he knows, uh, uh, my side of uh, Mara Vista, which I'll call the west side, is live uh, within the month, if not already. So that's our plan when we proceed to, to do any of the work. We're just going to have the machine uh, do what needs to be done with the septic system, um, decommission it, and then dig the line to connect to the existing sewer. Any other questions? Ken? So, uh, you know, the lot coverage is the only issue that I'm concerned with, and I'm just wondering, is there any way that you might... So on the plot plan here, it shows the deck 28.5 on the draft here. It shows it 30 feet um, long, and uh, so that's a question, I guess, which is it. But also, could the deck be any smaller, 30 by 12? I'll, I'll be candid. Uh, if, if that were the only issue, yes, I would. We could make the deck smaller. Um, uh, and it was. I, I understand exactly what you're talking about. The architect had done it as a 30, and, and uh, Mr. Bunker, when he did his calculations, thought it was going to bring things slightly over the 25 percent. So that's why, mm -hmm. on, on Mr. Bunker's plan, it was reduced to 28.5 to bring it on there. We, we can make the. But if it was 25 smaller. by 10 or, you know, something. Yeah, or 20 by 12 or. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I, we have no real problem with that. Um, I mean, the other alternative would be to make it a patio, and, you know, and then I guess it doesn't count. Yes. Uh, Only in total. It would count in the total lot coverage, total 40%, lot coverage. Not, right. not but, the 20. But not by structures. Um, so those are two options that would certainly make me happier. Sure. I mean, if, if say reducing it to 20 by 12 is going to make it, that's fine. Okay. Any other questions, Ken? No. Okay. TJ. Uh, with regard to the engineering comment, were you proposing any dry wells or rain garden, any other stormwater measures? Um, we had asked. Mr. Bunker about that, he didn't feel that it was necessary since everything we're going to be doing is pervious and um, the only thing we may be, uh, I'm not sure if this qualifies with what you're considering, we may be putting more crushed rock when we uh, are doing the work to tie into the new sewer and run it from the back. We may be putting a lot more crushed stone in the area of the perimeter around the immediately adjacent to the house.
Thank you. Because I just, uh, I'm sorry. It just, uh, ha having experienced the whole issue of dry wells, sometimes if you make a formal dry well, all that happens is they fill up. No. No. Sorry? I have just a few. So TJ asked about the dry wells. There was that comment from engineering, I believe, as well, about the asphalt apron, whether or not it said just that you'll just need to clarify that, whether you'll need a driveway permit. Are you maintaining the asphalt apron? We're going to leave it the way it is. Okay. Yes. We're just going to probably put, uh, like some houses on the same on the street have done, we'll probably put, um, just to define it and keep, um, the crushed stone from ending up in the street, put some uh, granite pavers just on the edge, but not changing that little paved apron. Um, excuse me, Madam yes. Chair. I think you better check with engineering because they don't like pavers at the end of the drive as an apron you're talking about? No, so no. the apron's there and then into the driveway so that the rocks don't go into the street. So it's five feet away from yes. the yes. street line. Sorry about that. That's exactly what they would want, yeah. Okay. Um, and then current existing non-conformities. Touch on those? It will, nothing will be um, increased or changed. In other words, for example, the front yard, yeah. all of the proposed structures are well back of, I think, like seven feet in back of the current um, closest point uh, this, that's closest to the street in the existing home. Everything is being pushed back uh, almost seven feet from that, that point. Okay, and that, so I just wanted, so for the front yard setback right now, 16.3 feet. Yes. Yeah, and you're, you're obviously step back from that. And then the side yard setback, current setback is 7.6 feet. Yes. Um, and you'll be, the closest I see is 8.8. .8. So you won't be, or I guess that's the existing corner as well. So yes. the, the proposed bulk cap will be 11.7. .7. Yes, we're not doing okay. anything on that side. Great, I just wanted to get it on the record. And then, um, there's no shed existing? No. no. None proposed? No. Um, do you know what the current ridge height is? Um, an act oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> is it on the plan? It's, it's in the file. Oh, it is. Okay. We asked him. I think Mr. it's 21 Savone points. Answered all of our questions. Okay. I think it's 21.7. <coughs> I think so. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then this one will be lower. <coughs> and then you're connecting to the sewer. And you're amenable to making the deck small. Okay. That was all I had for questions and Sari already asked you. And let me see if there's any public comment. Anyone here to speak in favor? Anyone here speak in opposition? No? Okay. All right. So I think we have all the information to make a decision. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So do you want to close the public hearing? Or I'll make would a you motion like to close. Ed would like to close the public hearing. Okay. Is there a second? Second. All right, so that is Ed and Paul. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then I think just, I think we should just talk about Ken's concern about lot coverage. So I had the same kind of, when it goes right up to that 25%, especially when you're at 12%, it's a significant increase from what's there. <coughs> and so I think it's kind of, I mean, the deck's in the rear. It's not like it's visible. It doesn't contribute to bulk. No, and, and there was some good data given on on where it fits, uh, mm -hmm. you know, 12 of 43 lots greater than 25 percent, if I heard correctly. Yeah. Uh, so, but I, you know, I think if the applicant's willing to concede that, uh, we go to a 12 by 20 foot deck, that's still a good size deck, and uh, then we're comfortably below the 25. And, you know, the thing I always worry about is, is the precedent of creating everyone getting huge. Well, it, yeah. And, so we want to, because this, this, I mean, I looked around the neighborhood. There's a lot of very, very small lots. Most of the houses are about the same size as this. So this will be a larger house in the neighborhood once the you know, uh, renovations are completed. Right. And I, I do appreciate that they're not kind of going ups you know any taller and so you're not increasing bulk but then in the future i mean not i'm not suggesting that we'll do this but my concern is we let allow them go up right to 25 percent then in the future somebody wants to add on to the second floor and then we have this you know i i take that into consideration i guess the bulk in terms of allowing them to go higher so i think leaving a little cushion's nice if they're willing to do it i think this is certainly going to make the house a lot more 
user friendly for them and be a big improvement to the neighborhood as well. So, so if that's so, twelve by twenty, is everybody on board with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're on board. Um, okay, so is there a motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve. And is Would there a second? I'll second. Okay, so that's added TJ. So findings and conditions. Oh, do we want to talk about the rain garden as well? I don't, or drywall? Well, they are adding impervious yeah. surface. I mean, the addition is, in, the roof is impervious. Right. <laughs> Even if the driveway is not. Uh, so the question would be where would <clears throat> you, you know, would you capture that runoff from the roof? Um, you have right now a you know a pretty tiny house on a significant you know on 7,200 square feet. I think That's the only place you could put a dry well would be at the front corner of the addition. Yeah, I mean if you're digging is is actually we didn't ask about how this foundation was. It's probably right. in here. It's yeah. Is it? The uh, there. There's a basement. It says that we're existing. Under the yeah. system, yes. yeah. Uh, it's unfinished. Unfinished, but there is a real basement there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so, you know, they have to do significant excavation anyway. They're going to have to do a, the four foot. I don't, there's no basement proposed in the addition. No, it is. Is uh, there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so there has to be eight foot at least significant, so. Right. They can put a dry well in. So, so I think requiring some dry wells would not be a bad okay. idea to capture that roof run off. Okay. All right, so let's do findings and conditions. So finding um, 240, well, I guess we always end with 240, 216, but I'll start, 240, 216. Um, it's going to make the home more um, user-friendly. Use enhance the utilization. Yeah, enhance the utilization. Enhance the utilization, that's, that's what we always says. say. Um, finding that they'll be connecting <coughs> to the sewer. Um, Obviously, no new nonconformities. That the ridge height of the proposed addition is less than the existing structure. I think there is an increase in bedroom count, right? Yes. Yes. What is it? It goes from two to two three, to four. I believe. To allow four by right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just a find. Yeah. Not a criticism. <laughs> um, finding that the applicant's amenable to making the, um, to reducing the size of the deck to 20 by 12 feet. Finding that there's no shed and no shed proposed. Finding that the engineering comment recommended Installation of dry wells. The driveway is going to be pervious. Yes, yep. In that they, I think we should do a finding as well about the asphalt apron. I know that's kind of non standard, but that was a question that they had raised for us. So maybe just say the applicant, you know, testimony to the effect that they intend on maintaining the apron. And you said, Ken, also that there, that there was test, good testimony calculations regarding lot coverage that this is in keeping. Yeah, the testimony was that uh, there were 12 out of 43 budding properties that were greater than 25% lot coverage. That was testimony. Yes. Okay. 26 out of 43 greater than 20%. Okay. Um, is that it for findings, we think? Any others? Good. Um, it's not more detrimental. You've got to add that in. Yes. Because 240 oh, does three. Yeah. And the list. Okay, conditions. Okay, so conditions per plans, but then we need a revised plot plan showing the reduction in deck size. And a dry well. And a dry well. OK. 
condition no shrug. Without further review by the board. Yes. And bedroom count, do you want to do that or just leave so, it it's, so it's plans? no more than four with the sewer system? You want that you want that as a finding so you don't have to Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we should still do that in terms of I stayed away from it because I it's actually no more than four without the permission of the uh, selectman. Yeah. Correct. So we can put you'll put something. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's everything, right? Is anybody else? Sounds good to me. Do you want? I, they have. Did they have to hook up to the sewer, right? Anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. it's mandatory. Mm -hmm. If this, yeah. It's all based on regulations. The filling in of the old septic, the whole yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. So that will all be taken care of. Mm -hmm. So we have to condition that. Okay. So that was Ed's motion to approve. TJ seconded it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So that is unanimous. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks again. Thank you. Bye bye. Application is number 2117, Gil Cooley Wallace, 4 Home Street, North Falmouth. Being all persons deemed affected by the Board of Appeals under Section 11 of Chapter 40A of the Massachusetts General Laws, you are hereby notified that Stephen J. Gilhuli and Lisa D. Wallace of North Falmouth, Massachusetts, <coughs> applied to the Zoning Board of Appeals for a special permit pursuant to Section 240-3C of the Code of Falmouth to construct a front porch and an attached two-car garage with habitable space above to the pre-existing non-conforming single-family dwelling on subject property known as Four Holmes Street, North Falmouth, Massachusetts. And for referrals, assessors, no comment. Conservation contains stormwater on the property from engineering is the standard comment. They also recommend dry wells, rain garden, or other stormwater measure for the roof from the fire department, no comment. From planning, no comment. That's it for referrals. Good evening. Good evening. My name is uh, Nathan Swain, and I uh, represent Stephen and Lisa. We are requesting the special permit due to the fact that the front of the house, we only have uh, 23 feet. Um, we won't be going any closer. Um, and hopefully we can get this approved. That was quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll start in the side. Robert. Uh, yeah, could you um, give us a little description of, of what exists right now in the basement for actually rooms? So it's a finished uh, basement. There is, um, there is one room that I guess they did use it as a bedroom, but now it's going to be the entrance uh, way through the garage. And uh, the other room is a workout room. And on the, on, the, on the upper level right now, what exists for bedrooms on the upper level? So there's uh, three bedrooms upstairs and an office. And on the, on the plan, uh, on the lower level where that workout room is, it, it, according to the plan, it, it almost looks like it's Closed. There's no door. There's oh, no door. sorry. Yeah, right in the middle, there is a doorway. So, so where would that entrance be for the workout room? Off of the. Off of the main, like the the bigger uh, living room area. Uh, okay, off the finished middle. Uh, and I know on the plan it does show that you have about 19 feet from. The proposed addition on, I think, at Holmes. Um, 
it, it, it looked very short on the actual site visit. Uh, it, was, it was hard to see where the actual lot line was out there. Uh, I, I, are the telephone poles that, that exist on this lot, are they in the actual road layout? Um, the telephone poles over there. He doesn't show it on his survey. I, it, doesn't, it doesn't show on the survey, and that's the only reason I was asking, because it, it was hard to see on Garnet Ave. Um, where the actual lot ended. Uh, and my other, only other question is regarding the septic that's there, is, is that an H20 tank on the leach field? Because it, it's a driveway. Yes, the, um, as far as that goes, I, I don't know. I'd have to look into that. Hmm. Uh, and on the, on the proposed addition on the Garnet Ave side, are you planning any clearing on the corner of Home Street and Garnet, there wasn't much of a visual for anyone coming in and out right, of the driveway section. Right, yeah, we section. are planning on taking down those uh, those shrubs there. Uh, that's it. I, I, I'd just like a little more information on the actual, I don't know, the setbacks and the labeling. It just seemed a little confusing on, between the plans and, and what actually exists out there now. No, I don't have any questions. Okay. There was two white stakes there. What was that to represent? When I was uh, in the driveway? Yeah, on the left side, of, like the left of the garage or whatever's going to be there. Okay, so that would be the, um, that's the two feet in for the uh, start of the garage, and then the other one was the, uh, the front of the garage. Oh, all right. Any other questions? TJ? Uh, to address engineering and conservation's comments, you're uh, going to keep the stormwater on the property? And yes, the way it pitches, it, it'll pitch to the backyard, and then we are going to put in uh, two asphalt aprons. Great. So that, it'll be contained on the property, no need yes. for dry wells or anything? Yeah, correct. All right, thank you. Ken? I have no questions. Jerry? No questions. All right, this might be in the file. I apologize. Um, so the home street is designated as a front yard? Yes. And then Garnet is designated as a side yard, is that? Yes. Okay. And number of bedrooms, I, I know um, Bob was asking about, but I just kind of missed it. So existing, and I can't make sense of the plan. So existing number of bedrooms is how many? Four. Four. And you're staying at staying, four. Staying at four. Because on the plan it says ex bedroom number five. So yeah. I was just confused by that. So it's four bedrooms staying at four. Okay. Sri, do you have any questions? No, no the plans were a little confusing. Yes, yeah, because some say existing and that says new, new bedroom and yeah, okay. But I think it's just if the board approves it, no bedrooms in the basement. Yeah. And so the reason you're here is because of the front yard setback. Correct. But you're not changing at all. Okay. All right. And everybody has their questions answered? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All set. All right. So is there a motion to close? Make a motion to close. I'll second. I said there's no one here. I don't have to ask about public <laughs> comment. Okay. So that was Ed and TJ. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And then how would you guys like to proceed? The Bob, you have some concerns. No, I, I, I would just want to make sure that on the plan that there is actually the 19 feet off of the home street where that garage is going to be because... Off of Garnet. Off of, uh, yeah, off of Garnet. Because when you, when you look at where the addition is going to come out of the garage, there's two cars parked there now. And if you move those cars behind where those stakes are, you're pretty much on the edge of the road. Yeah. Any so I just want to make sure nine by eighteen. Hmm? Any legal parking place sta or space that the town recommends, like if for a commercial space or anything, it's nine by eighteen. So the 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 board can do ask for an as built to ensure because it is John Seal. So just to ensure that but, that's the actual yeah. setback yeah. that's showing yeah. on the plan. But, but I think you're referencing the fact that the traveled way Garnet Ave is actually on the ground a lot closer to that proposed it addition. just it just yeah. seems it when you're at the site yeah. it, it might not be so i would just like that confirmed with the plan okay i think that that's a, a good suggestion mm. certainly doesn't hurt so okay 
So findings and conditions. Excuse me. Yes. We need to make a motion. Oh, sorry. Is there a motion to? No. Why do you make a motion to? Okay. No, you looked at Bob because he had a question. Oh, I I'll make a motion to approve. Second it. Okay, so that's Paul and then Ed. Okay, so findings and conditions. So finding that Holmes Street is the designated front yard and Garnet is a side yard. Finding, I would just say that, you know, I don't know how you want to word it, Sri, but what Bob's speaking to that, you know, it, you know that the road looks mm -hmm. however we want to word it. I don't know. The, the drawing says, John Doyle's says drawing says 17 feet on one side. And then 19, 19, on, the yeah, 19 on the other. Yeah. So, just that the, you know, that there's concern about. I, don't, I, don't well, I think what you have to do is maybe not make a finding that the plan shows 17 mm -hmm. and, and yes. 19. And then we'll make the, the condition And then a condition the that, yeah. Yes. Um, so four bedrooms staying, four bedrooms. And then a finding that there are no bedrooms in the basement. basement. Well, we, testimony was that it was a bedroom. It's not going to be a yes. bedroom anymore. Yes, correct. Correct. No, I'll put it as so testimony. I, Yes. Bedroom and basement removed. Yes. Garnet. Uh, to be removed. Um, no increase in nonconformity, no new nonconformities. 240, 216. No increase in height. It's pretty modest. Is there any others? Okay. Um, conditions. Build it like the drawing. Build it like the drawing. <laughs> and an as built plan, please. And. Would set back bedrooms. off Garnet? Yes, yeah, that's really the concern on the as built is the setback off Garnet. So to confirm the 17 foot. 19. 19. Well, it's 17 on one side. Yeah. And Wait, 19 it's on the other. It's, it's Do they have big cars? Okay. They do not. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Suburban. Oh, they both okay. The cars are going to appear to be in the middle of the street. And then, um, like in the street. Four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. And no bedrooms created in basement. basement yes. He, he hasn't shown the traveled way. Mm -hmm. He shows the road layout. Sorry. No, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, did I miss something? No. So is that everything? I think so. Everybody's concerns have been addressed? Yeah. Okay, great. So that was Paul's motion to approve. Ed seconded it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Three Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. But that's his problem. Well, that's it. As long as it's on the plan, exactly. it approves it. Because I don't think they're counting. So okay. So, let me just find my agenda. Minutes from the April 27, 2017 meeting. Has everybody had a chance to approve, uh, review? Yes, I so do. Only yep. four members were here, yes. so three will abstain. Yes. Okay, so. so April like, 27. To make the motion. I'll make the motion to accept. Approve. I'll second. So that's Ed and then TJ. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And I'm abstaining. I'm abstaining. I think I have to. Was I there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ever here? So Jerry, <laughs> <laughs> so Jerry is abstaining as well. Next, while well, TJ signs those, Board of Ministry of Approval, Seasonal Tent at La Cucina. So. This is the year that La Cucina was supposed to come for a special <laughs> permit. <laughs> But because go I got to him too late, I'm asking the, the board to administratively no. approve it, it for this year, where I've been administratively approving it. It's in the back pocket. Line. But the decision was every so many years Nine. to get yeah, I've seen a it. plot plan to see if there's any violations the whole bit. There's been no violations. There's been no complaints. This is the tent that they put up approximately Memorial Day and take down 
I think it's after Columbus Day. I'm pretty sure it is. Mm. I've sat back there and enjoyed dinner. Oh, really? Yeah, it's nice. Never sat back there. Yeah. Oh, who knew? It was like for a race weekend. There was uh -huh. an event out there. The high equity clients go back. It was nice. Yeah, yeah. they said back there. No, it was like a fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've got the nice heaters back there. Yeah. It's chilly. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so it'll be the same size tent. It'll be the same setup as it's been the past. We haven't had any issues six with you years or so approving it. So let it roll. But does the board want it done administratively next year, or would you like? How many years were they supposed to come in after? Uh, this was Under the, the fifth year with administrative, so um, it was like five years and they'd been doing it for a while. The board approved it for the first couple of so years. So the only reason not to do it administratively is give the public a chance to chat in. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, maybe next year. A full-blown? What do you think? I think it's nice if the public has a chance to chat If that in. was the intent when they originally granted it. Okay. So, well, I'll wait yeah. for a motion. Yeah, so... Is there a motion to approve? Yes, yeah, so I'll make a motion to approve. And then we'll change, or however we want to, that they would come in next year. Right. right. Um, I'll put it in the letter that they'll come in earlier to get yes. a yeah. special permit. He was going to build something back there, but I guess that's not going to happen, which is why we've done it administratively. Oh. <laughs> so, Ed moved to approve. Is there a second? <coughs> second. Okay, so that's Ed and Paul. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And then I was looking at this board review and discussed procedural rules and policies because it's been on here for like a year and that's really my fault because I should be pushing that through. And I know Mark Bobrowski had given us revised rules to look at from Winchester for- He had given us rules from Winchester. Yes, to kind of- Comprehensive permit. And- Because our comprehensive permit regulations are really out of date. Yes, so I'm- Obviously, we're not prepared to talk about that tonight, but I will say, do you think by the next, the 18th, we... So can you resend at least electronically, whatever it was? Yes. Okay, so we'll make that, because I know that's been hanging around, and we so should just do So do you want to try and deal with it on May 18th, if, if the board if members will review and send in their comments? Yes. Do you um, have a sense of when um, Attorney Haverty will be distributing? His no, I, I was going to email him when I got back today and I completely forgot. Oh, I apologize. Um, Hopefully it'll be early next week. I will contact him tomorrow because okay. I have a question for him on something. So um, I will else? let the board know if it's okay right now for yep. me to... There's been some uh, comments from the uh, Bob Ritchie and Bob Mitchell, who are reviewing the zoning bylaws. And I will send you what they have done so you can comment, but please get your comments to me as soon as you can. These came in yesterday afternoon and some more came in this morning. He, they also sent two um, examples from different towns of what the zoning bylaws look like, what they should, what they perceive they should look like. I, you know, it's funny, just, yeah, I come across different zoning bylaws, and I saw somebody else's that looked like ours, and I'm, and then there are so many others that are more user-friendly, and certainly, so right. hopefully they're pushing us toward that direction, but it's nice we're well, making some Well, yeah, progress. that'll be down the road, like, right. right now it's the definitions that we really want to take care of, add, and delete, because some of them are quite out there. And then they want to discuss the framework for the recodified zoning bylaws. So, and some of them I've got to respond to as to the definitions and maybe get a couple more that we need. So oh, I'll yeah, send those to you guys, and I'm assuming, now the zoning bylaws from the two other towns are like 200 and some pages, but you can... If I send it to you, you can scan through them. Well, for focused on like the definitions, we could look mm -hmm. at maybe right. Some other well, the definitions um, will, is the first three or four things that they sent us. Okay, so, great. It's a place to start. It is. Yeah, I think it's. Hopefully, we'll have something in place for November. I'm hoping, and I think Brian Curry is hoping as well. Yes. Yeah. Did you and Brian have a chance to meet with them beforehand, or they just? 
Oh no, we all we met the, oh, okay. the so building you... commissioner, myself, planning. Um, I, I'm sorry, Jerry. I can't remember who all no, was at that right. meeting, so they, but we did. Gave them some direction. We discussed and... issues, what we thought were the important things to try and get done, and how to proceed thereafter. Because, like we said, it's not going to be done in one step. Unfortunately, it's going to take a few years. But we're at least moving forward. Right. We are so moving that's forward. Great. Okay. So is that everything? Anybody else have anything they want to share? How did the meeting go with the LLC? Was it last week? Can you discuss that? Yeah. What LLC? I'm sorry. The 40B meeting? The 40B. Oh. Oh, the one that the lawyers? Didn't we have a representative there? Yeah. 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 You sent around something, didn't you? Yeah, it's not appropriate because there's nobody here. Oh, it's not? Okay. Yeah. Um, on the other side or our attorney to discuss it publicly. Okay. Um, there were a couple people there from the yeah. public. Yeah. Well, there was more than a couple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was more than I thought would be here. Okay, good. Well, we're moving along on that as well. Okay. 